Yep. Sometimes it's hard to translate what it is we think about into language. Whether it be written form or in the spoken language. I think it's actually, <clears throat> it takes more effort to write your thoughts into text. However, speaking is more on the fly. It's not as, I don't think, is as articulate as it could be if it's written down. Because when you're actually writing, you have more tools at your disposal to verify what you're saying. Although when you're speaking, you don't have to really spell check, do you? Mm, that's a good thing. Wonder how many words I'm saying that are misspelled, huh? You'll never know. Until now, probably. It's interesting how <laughs> you can say words and not have to worry about that, huh? But when you write it down, oh, you misspell one word, you're a fucking idiot. Oh, if you use cuss words, you're an idiot, too. Yeah. Interesting. Which brings me to the topic I really want to cover here. And that's... Art forms. What is an art form? What is it expressing? Whether it be a painting, piece of music, poetry, any form of literal work. What is it? I'll tell you what it is. It's a translation of what's real. And what's real is not material. A great symphony that I've heard, or a masterpiece painting that I've seen, is a poor representation for what was really behind it. There's a lot lost in the translation to the canvas. There's a lot lost translating to words. Some people are better at translation than others. Some people can articulate their words. They use more descriptions for every nuance they want to describe about what it is in their mind that they are seeing. I want to get back to this poor translation because I don't want to sound pretentious here, but the beauty I have seen on the inner ocean of mind is infinitely more profound than any piece of art that I have witnessed in this realm called the material world. I know there's others out there that know what I'm talking about. Attempting to describe what it is, you can't. You can't describe a beauty that profound. It gets lost in the translation. The best you can do is attempt a translation to record the translation 
in the form of a painting, music. But nowhere does it come close to the actual source. The best we can do is translate it into a reflection of what it really represents. That's why I think the best translations of art is the art that allows room for your imagination to fill in the blanks. Because that form of art is special. It allows the observer to actually experience what it is the art's trying to reflect. That's all I have on that right now.